Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a bow and tea parcel. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a review because I've not yet ordered from bow and tea and it's quite new at the minute. So I thought, yeah, I'd give it a little bit of a review. I have only ordered two unitards, one in medium and one in large because not quite sure about the size and I really wanted a unitard. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So to start off with, um, this is a parcel. Today is a Sunday, I'm recording this on a Sunday. So the fact that it got delivered on a Sunday is amazing. It's only $1.99 delivery. I ordered it, I think I ordered it last week when it dropped. So only a couple of days wait, I'm not complaining. So, uh, so yeah, let's get started. So unlike with the birch box, I haven't actually cheated and I'm actually opening this on the camera with you. So I'm a bit excited, hoping I don't look so more doing this. Yep, so it comes in a, this is coming in a poly box. I have seen some come in a bow and tea box, but it's the same brand, so it doesn't matter. Get a nice little drone our free boot camp, little fitness motivation. Yep, that's quite cute. If you keep watching to the end of the video, I'll tell you a little bit about my fitness uh, schedule in lockdown. So, um, so yeah, I ordered this because I've been working out in the living room. Um, so I needed something to wear. Um, I like to look good when I'm working out. It sounds a little dumb. I don't put makeup on or anything like that, but I think if you've got, if you've got something nice and comfy on, and you like don't feel like you're drenched in sweat, I just feel like it's a little bit motivating. And you can push yourself a little bit further. If you've done a 30 minute workout and you're like, oh, I'm tired and you're sweating and your bra's gross or your shorts and leggings are gross, you just feel a bit demotivated. So to do that extra 15 minutes to make it 45 minutes or another half hour, I think you need to feel nice and look good. So I'm hoping this will be comfortable. I am going to work out tomorrow in whichever size fits me. And um, I'm going to do a Chloe Ting workout. I think I'm on day 11. So yeah, keep watching. I'll give it a review back to working out with it. So open up. So I ordered blue in large and I ordered yellow in medium. So first of all, I've ordered two different colors because yellow is my favorite color. But sometimes I think when you order yellow clothes, they can be see-through. So first thing I'm testing is, is it see-through? Um, if it is, I'll get a darker color. If not, I'll keep the yellow. The second thing I'm trying is the sizing. One thing with O Poly and Bow and Tea is um, it's not the best for the curvier girl. I'm not the skinniest girl. I fluctuate between a 10 and a 12. I mean, it has to be quite a generous 10. But as someone who used to be a size 14, I would not really recommend it if you are on the larger side because it can be demotivating when you put on like, sometimes I put on a 12 and it doesn't fit and I just think, oh God, I need to lose weight. And that's a whole new story. It's all about keeping healthy and active. Don't worry too much about your weight, so yeah. So let's open up the yellow, because yellow's my favourite, so that goes first. <laughs> so, oh, it feels really nice. feels really quite rugged. We've got some pads in here, so we've still got boobs whilst we work out, which is great for people like me who barely have any. Nice little bone tea tissue paper. Telling you they're not going to accept it if it's removed, but wow. I don't know if I'm going to fit in this, but wow, that is so cute. Really, really stretchy. Not see-through yet, so we'll see when I've got it on. So yeah, that's the, that's the yellow and this is the medium. The next one. We're in that room, yeah. This is the navy blue and this is the large. They just feel so nice. They look much bigger. I think it's got a bit more stretch. Again, we've got pads in here. Oh, we've even got washing instructions. That's useful. Machine wash cold. That, yep, that's a large. So it does look a little bit, a little bit bigger. Uh, I'll give more of a comparison when I try it on. Got a nice little logo. They are just. They're just aesthetically pleasing, if anything else. I mean, as someone who's a massive fan of the 80s, the idea of working out in an all-in-one is just my dream. You know, like Olivia Newton-John in physical with the, the bodysuit and the tights and leg warmers. I love that. 
is a little bit impractical and also it's not easy to get your hands on those thing those items of clothing so definitely i'm ready to try these on and um, so what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to try them on give you a little show of me in them then i'm going to choose whichever one fits me best i'm going to wrap up the one that i'm not keeping send it back i've purchased through klarna which is buy now pay later great scheme especially for people like me who never really know what size to get um yeah so i'll send it back and i get my client gets refunded and i'll only pay for one plus obviously postage you do have to pay for returns which is a bit annoying but it doesn't matter you pay for what you get i suppose but yeah and then at the end of this video or after i'll do a little review of me working out on it and then i'll tell you a little bit about my workout um schedule in quarantine so yeah so this is the yellow medium, it is see through unfortunately so you can see see my panties, not impressed and you can see my belly button but that's to be expected with yellow. It is really comfy, really really comfy, really flattering, got quite a bit of support, maybe we'd have to make this tighter but yeah it's just really nice, like I say it's really soft, quite a bit, quite a bit of stretch like I'm Tempted to get probably a medium, but I'll try the large one to see how much bigger feels like there is a bit of support Could potentially I would say if you're a bit of a smaller 10 or maybe if you're a comfortable 10 Or you can even sometimes fit into an 8 that's stretchy. I would recommend this I could even say a 12 could possibly fit in it because it is it's really stretchy it depends how fitted you like things but yeah the height situation is not great if I just to show you like the crotch bit is here my crotch is here so I'm going to pull it up a bit but that's to be expected when you're a short ass like me so I probably took it in but yeah I'll try on the next one so this is the large in navy much better if not see-through although I do really like the yellow again comfy you see, I could get away with it's probably not as much support in the large, so I would definitely recommend this for a 12 or a 14. There is loads and loads of stretch like, on the legs and everything. You do want it quite tight when you're exercising, especially if you do like exercise videos, they're quite vigorous. But yeah, again, really flattering. Would recommend. Yeah, really nice. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my exercise video in the yellow just because it's a bit more snug. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. Hey guys, so as you can see, I've just finished doing the <laughs> Chloe thing, day 12, get shredded workout. So that consists of four videos plus a workout and a cool, um, a warm up and a cool down. So uh, my review of the suit is, so I'm still in it now. So it's really good for ab workouts, you know, when you're just on the mat, nothing intense. Cardio is definitely a no-go. I was, I was doing high knees and I was just pulling the leg a bit down. Really uncomfortable and if you suffer from trouble, I don't <laughs> recommend it at all. I would potentially want to try a size small and see if that's more fitted on the legs. But if you're definitely going to buy this, it is nice. It is absorbing the sweat. It does feel nice and there's great support on your chest. Just, I'm just talking about this leg bit here. You just, you're constantly rolling it down whilst you're jumping up and down. So if you're not jumping up and down, it's fine. But yeah, I'm gonna try the small in a couple of weeks, and if that's more fitted, it better. But definitely before you work out, make sure it is fitted. <laughs> so as promised, I said I'd talk you through a bit of my fitness schedule. So thank you for watching to the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, let's see if I can help anybody or most for anybody. So before lockdown, I was um, quite active outdoors. I went running with my running partner, who I haven't had to be able to go running with since lockdown, so I'm really gutted. Um, I did quite a lot of running and I was seeing the physio because I've got back problems. So stopping running and then stopping seeing the physio, everything was just sort of gonna fall apart. So um, one thing I did make my goal when I got furloughed was to make sure I exercise every day. Now jokingly as I'm leaving the office I told everybody I'd come back looking like a Victoria's Secret agent I was going to do two hours a day 
I have not done that, but I've done my best to keep active and haven't put any weight on. I haven't particularly lost any weight, but I haven't put any weight on and I've made a lot of cake and sausage rolls and Sunday rolls, so I'll take that. So one thing I would recommend is the Pop Sugar Fitness. I will add a link to some of my favourite videos in the description. Pop Sugar is really, really great. And I'd say they're quite good for all levels of fitness because they provide a modification. So when I first started doing ab workouts, I couldn't really do a plank. Not that I'm great at doing a plank now, but the, the you get three people who are all working out and they'll say, if you can't do a plank or you struggle to do push-ups or you're struggling to do high intensity um, workouts, follow the person and it will show you a different person in the same group and what they're doing so for example if they're doing planks this person might do a plank on the knee or a plank and then a break and a plank and then a break so i definitely recommend another great thing about pop sugar fitness is they have workouts by jake dupree and if you don't know who jake dupree is you need to get on instagram and just look him up because he is an icon they also have workouts with a lady who name i can't remember but she does work with celebrities she does like a 500 calorie burn video <laughs> you will sweat. The beauty of these videos is the people are actually doing the work. There is no editing or anything. They are talking to you and they're working out with you and they keep you motivated. You see them get drink breaks and you see them wipe themselves off with a towel, which I think is amazing because when you're grabbing for a bottle of water, if the person on the screen isn't grabbing for a bottle of water, you're thinking, oh my gosh, am I, like, am I really unhealthy? Am I really unfit? That's not the case. So yeah, definitely recommend Pop Sugar. That'd be sort of, if I was, I'll rank three, that'd be number two. So if I jump back to number three, third best thing would be what the Davina McCall Own Your Goals um, page that she did. It's OYG on the app and on the internet. She did do a 30 day free trial, which is what I tried. Not 100% sure if it is 30 day free trial. If it still is, I definitely recommend that you at least give it a go. The pros of it is you answer quite a few questions when you set up your account and she puts you either on a beginner, an intermediate or advanced workout. If you follow the Instagram page, they do some live workouts as well. The other problem with the Davina ones is they are edited. So Davina might say, oh, I'm tired or get a drink, but she doesn't look like she's sweating because it's a couple of videos in a 25 minute clip. So she's changed outfit and she's had a shower and probably had a coffee before she started the next workout, which I found demotivating. But I still did the 30 day free trial and I did them with my partner. I've done both Davina and Pop Sugar with my partner and even he said Pop Sugar were his favorite. But it's definitely worth a go and it's free. And you do get a little plan and it tells you where to measure yourself and to weigh yourself. So I know when you're weighing yourself, the, the scales might not change, but the inches can definitely change. I've definitely seen that. Um, my number one is what I'm currently doing at the minute is Chloe Ting. Now, if you're on YouTube, I'm assuming you know who Chloe Ting is. If you don't, you need to give her a Google. She's not very active on Instagram, but she has got a massive YouTube page with a massive following and it, she is really good at fitness. So with Chloe Ting, the beauty of Chloe is she gives you free programs, which is amazing because people do charge, like PTs do charge for their programs. Even if you're not actually going to their gym, they will charge. So the fact that Chloe is doing this for free is really amazing and you should like and subscribe to her because that's just that's just so like, what's the, what's the word? It's just so generous, that's the word. So yeah, with Chloe Ting, she does um, a flat tummy workout. She does um, low impact, high intensity workout. And at the minute I'm currently following the 2020 Summer Shred. When I first started working out in quarantine, I found it quite difficult to follow the Chloe Ting plans because I was doing too much at once, I will not lie to you. I definitely recommend if you're going to do the Chloe Ting workouts, you follow her program and you keep any other exercise to a minimum. So I like going for a cycle. So I will go do my 20 mile cycles with my family on a rest day. I wouldn't, I try to avoid doing it on a day where I've done the Chloe Tings because they are just, it hurts, it really hurts. I'm currently on day 11 of it. I'm going to do day 11 tomorrow. 
I will be doing a video if there are results, so keep an eye out on that. So in three days I'll be taking my measurements and on day 28, if I've lost weight then, or I've made a difference, or if I feel a bit healthier, I'll definitely make a video and show you. But if you wanna get started on that before you see my progress, there are other people who've done TikToks and posts on Instagram and even YouTube videos detailing their progress. But yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's important to stay healthy and active in quarantine. Because exercise for me is a great outlet for my mental health and my physical health. And it also makes you feel a bit better when you decide you're going to bake a cake and eat it. So yeah, definitely recommend it. But thank you so much for watching my channel, guys. Just like and subscribe and share if you want. And uh, like I say, I'll leave my socials in the description if you want to drop me any comments or messages, any recommendations. I'm here for them. Thank you, guys.